Hi, I'm Brian. Welcome to Syntax Technologies. Today, we'll continue with our e-invoice sharing staff claim. In e-invoice specific guide, we understand that for staff claim basically separate into two categories. The first one will be staff benefits. For example, subscription of gym, subscription of club. This kind of benefits, actually what you need to do is first, the staff should request e-invoice from the provider under the company names or details. If cannot get under the company, second, they should request e-invoice under the staff name and details. Let's say really cannot, then invoice or receipt will also do the same tricks. But with one condition, this kind of benefits need to stated in the company policy. The staff is eligible to enjoy this kind of benefits. Second category, normal staff claim. This is because during the employment, staff may incur certain expenses because of the work. For example, staff may need to travel. There will be traveling claims or he need to stay that accommodation claim. The same things, this kind of claim, the staff should request e-invoice under the employer company details. If cannot get, then request e-invoice under the staff details. Really cannot get, same things, request receipt or invoice. But for this kind of claims, there will be one condition. You need to prove that the staff is under your company's employment and the claims is actually incurred because of the work or job scope. So this is according to the guide. But for my personal opinion, there is a third kind of claims, which is direct expenses for the company. For example, the company purchased stock from the supplier but the staff go and make the payment on behalf of the company. You see, this kind of claims is not under the benefits because the staff do not enjoy the stock. Secondly, this is not because of his job scope. This is the company direct expenses. The staff only pay on behalf of the company. In my personal opinion, for the third kind of scenario, the staff must be able to request e-invoice from the supplier under the employers or company details. This is not a claim. Staff only pay on behalf. So in accounting, what you can do, you can maintain your staff as a current asset or current liabilities cash account, and you still key in this invoice as purchase or supplier invoice, then make payment to the supplier using the staff account. Then when you pay back to the staff, then you do another payment voucher maybe, payment from the company bank account to the staff current asset or current liabilities account. Then it will become an accounting problem and not e invoice problem. Some people may not agree or understand my third category. Well, even you do the third category, that means you insist of getting e invoice for this kind of expenses that your staff pay on behalf, there's no mistake because e invoice is always the best way for you to get it from the supplier to get a direct expenses. Some people may not agree or understand the third category, but no worries, as long as you understand, always try to get e-invoice from the supplier under your employer or the company details, then there won't be any mistake. So the third option is always correct. That's all for today. If you think this video will help you, please like and share the video and also subscribe to my channel. Once again, thank you for watching. I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. See you in the next video. Thank you.